Hi, it's Corrine for the Cut at Home Design Team, and today I have a tutorial on an adorable little accordion mini album. For my base, I, I've used black cardstock, and for my pattern paper, I've used some, I don't have much left, so I only have this to show you, but it is a ladies' diary collection. Gorgeous, gorgeous collection. I will have all the measurements on Cut at Home's blog, and I do, like I said, have a tutorial for this as well that I'll play here in just a moment. For the front, I used a Spellbinders Borders die. This is the Curved Borders 1 die. I'll have all the products linked. I adhered everything down with Angel Craft 1 quarter inch tape. This is a strong adhesive. I also used some Scotch Quick Dry wet glue and a little bit of ATG tape and I used some magnets from basic gray that I got off of Amazon so the outside of this is four and a quarter and it opens like this on the front there's where I use that die it has a stitched die to it as well I use some wild orchid craft flowers and leaves and some pearls in a pearl center this is one of the um, chipboard tags I believe it's from the um, Home Sweet Home Collection. I'll find out and put that on Cut at Home's blog as well. I love this paper. It is so gorgeous. So the inside pages are 4x4. Four four. Here's my front cover and here is my accordion. So it comes out like this. On the front here I made a little pocket using a tiny little um, journaling card, a postcard to the pocket I used a scrap piece of paper and some black cardstock so a tiny photo can be placed on this and here's from the Gilded Lily collection cut that down and placed it in the pocket as well and then it flips open and this is perfect for three by three or three and a half square photos three and a half square photos would still leave a tiny border of this gorgeous paper collection or smaller two by two photos you'd still be able to see the collection so on this side, when you open it up, I have another little pocket, same thing, a little bit different tag. So I hope you stay tuned for the start to finish. Check out Cut at Home's blog. I'll have all the information and product use linked. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, so to get started, I'm using some black cardstock. This is 65 pound weight cardstock. It's a smooth black cardstock. And I have five different pieces cut to four by eight. I will be scoring them in half at four inches. For my cover piece, I have a piece that is four and a quarter by 11, and I will go over the measurements when we score this, but all this information will be on Cut at Home's blog. I'm gonna start on my accordion pages first. I'm using a Heartfelt Creation Stylus from their Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit. And again, these are four by eight, scoring them at four, going over them a couple times. And while we have our scoreboard out, let's go ahead and score our covers, or our cover, I should say. I will be scoring it at four inches, four and three A's. So on your Martha Stewart scoreboard, just count over from the four, three. So four and three eighths, eight and a half, and eight and seven eighths, which is going to be the line right before the nine, but you can count over from the eight, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, it's the line right before the nine. So for now I'm just going to set the cover aside. We will fold our inner pages. Make sure to use a bone folder and you want to fold into the bump that you've made. So one side there's a bump. This is the side we actually scored on. So it's pressed in. You want to score into or fold it into that bump. You'll get a nicer crease that way. So fold over your pages and make sure to crease them down. Now we're going to glue them accordion style. So what that means is feed them into each other and glue them. So what I like to do is I like using wet glue because it gives me a chance to maneuver it if I need to. And this 
part will adhere to this and this will fold over and adhere to this. So I like to add glue to the very edge of this one so I know that it's glued all the way down. Otherwise it's going to flip up a little and you don't want that. And then I just kind of add glue around the rest of this one. So again, I hope that makes sense. This is going to sit on top of this one. So I want to make sure it's completely glued on this edge and I want to make sure it's completely glued on that edge. So you just kind of sandwich it together. There's however is comfortable for you to do it. Lay it down, kind of pick it up, make sure it's completely even. And once you're happy with that, go ahead and press it down. If you wanted to, you could leave the top open for pockets. I'm going to just go ahead and glue it all down. So as you can see, our accordion album is starting to come together. So now you want to go ahead and feed the next one to it. And now here is our accordion book. I'm going to, on my cover, go ahead and fold on the creases. This will give us a nice gusset for our book. So this is how our cover will be. Here's the gusset on this side and a gusset on that side. This will be our flip over, our flap. So I wanted to open this way. I'm going to mark it with a pencil because I won't need paper on this. So I'm just going to put an X because I don't need to add paper to that because that's what's going to be adhered to our book. And I think it's easier to add all the pattern paper first. So I've cut all my pieces to 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. I used a mini ink blending tool and some black soot distress ink and went around all my edges. And I've also added angel craft tape in the 1 quarter inch to the back of all my pieces. So I will simply go ahead and add them into my book. So that le leaves me a nice black border around my edges. I will finish adhering all my pages. Again, you don't need to add a piece to the very back. That will be gluing to the back of our book. And I'll be right back. The next thing that we want to do is choose our border piece. I'm going to use this border here. I'm going to cut it from my decorative piece at the exact same time. This way I can line it up perfectly. I'm going to add a piece of tape down here to hold this on and then I will also add a piece of tape to hold onto the die in place once I get it where I want. Now I will run that through my Sizzix Big Shot. And I'm going to run it back and forth a couple times since it's going through two thick pieces of paper. Now I have a perfect edge for my book. So I just need to measure this out and cut this down. I'm just going to eyeball it.
So I'm going to cut this piece to four inches. So this is a four by four square. Perfect. And then I will also cut a four by four square for the front of my card. Perfect. And now I will adhere it together. Inside cover piece, I have a piece that is three and seven eighths by four and one eighth. I will adhere that down. I will adhere the back of my book to this by adding wet glue. Really press that down, open it up to your back flap, and press that down. And now you have the option of cutting another piece that matches, which I think I will do that. So here is my book. I should have added my magnets underneath, which being that I didn't use a real strong adhesive, I can probably pry this up. Yeah, obviously you want to add your magnets beforehand, but that was easy to pry up. And I will just cut another piece to go over this. So I'm going to go ahead and add my magnets right now. more adhesive and I will just really press that down. Now I'm going to add the other side of them simply by letting them find each other. Okay, leaving the sticky part exposed, I will close my book just how I want it, press it on there, and hopefully be able to pry it up. There we go. And now I have another piece to go ahead and adhere on top of that. And no one will ever know that I forgot to put it on in the first place. And so now it works perfectly. So all we have left to do is embellish it.